Hi everyone, Lisa Min here. I've got a session of chair yoga for you today. This is going to be a, a, a short session, probably about 10 or 15 minutes, and we're going to do all the poses sitting in a chair today. Have a blanket nearby, so we're going to use that later on. Just any old blanket that's rolled up like so. Let's start by just finding some good seated posture. So I'm going to sit on the edge of the chair, feet flat on the floor, spine is long. The head is in line over the shoulders, the shoulders are in line over the hips. We're going to bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, float the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, taking the arms down. Inhale, taking the arms overhead again. Exhale, hands to heart. And one more time, inhaling, reaching up. Go ahead and look up if that feels okay on your neck. Exhale, taking it down, gaze moves down. Inhale, arms overhead, gaze follows hands. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to do seated sun salutations here. So we're going to inhale, take the arms straight overhead. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. So now we're bringing the whole torso down. And maybe you just can't bring the hands to the knees or the thighs, or maybe you want to bring them all the way down to the floor, or maybe you want to go halfway down using a yoga brick or any other prop you can find at home, maybe a step stool. We're going to halfway up here, exhale back down. Inhale, take the arms back along the sides, coming all the way back up to tall ceiling. Sitting, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, hands move up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Allow the head to drop. Inhale, halfway lift. So coming up just halfway, bringing that heart forward. Exhale, fold forward again. Inhale, taking the arms out to the sides, reaching all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise, heart forward. Exhale, down, release. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Reaching up, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway up, exhale down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do one more round. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Taking a pause here. I'm going to take the feet a little bit wider, turning the toes out. We have a horse pose or goddess pose here. So I'm just going to press down into the feet, activating the legs. We're going to do a little cat-cow action here. So with the hands resting on the thighs, we're going to inhale, arch the lower back, lengthen the front body, lift the heart, gazing up. And then we're going to exhale, draw the belly button in, roll toward the tailbone, and dropping the chin to chest. Inhale, roll to the front of the sit bones, lengthening that front body, drawing the shoulder blades back, open the heart. Exhale, navel to spine, drawing everything in toward the center. Inhale, lengthening that front body. So this is our seated, uh, seated cow pose. Exhale, draw the belly button in, curling inward. This is our seated cat pose. Let's do three more. Inhale, rolling those shoulders back, lifting the heart. Exhale, kicking everything hugging into the center. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. Now just coming back to neutral. We're gonna do a side stretch. We're gonna drop the right elbow down to the right knee. We're gonna take the left arm and reach it straight up. Take a breath here. And then maybe we're gonna reach further over to the side, keeping both feet really rooted. So we're not shifting over and, and having the whole body shift over to the side. We're staying really firm and rooted here in the center. I'm just lengthening through the side of the torso. We're gonna inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, hand back down. Inhale, taking the other arm up. Exhale, coming to the side, keeping both feet rooted. Lengthening the side of the torso, feeling that whole rib cage stretching and lengthening here. Sending that air into the lungs along the side. Let's do two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, and on the next inhale, bringing it up. Exhale, hands down to the lap. We're gonna to turn to the side. I'm gonna sit sideways on your chair. Again, sitting on the front edge of your chair. I'm gonna do some open twists here. So I'm gonna take the arms and reaching up toward the ceiling, and we're gonna exhale, reach forward with the left hand, reaching back with the right hand. Inhale, back to center. Exhale in the opposite direction. So let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, reaching out. Inhale, up. Exhale. Let's do the three more. We're reaching, lengthening. Exhale, finding that open twist. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, open. Inhale up, exhale, reach. One more time. Inhale, exhale, reach. And let's hold this for a couple more breaths, a couple of breaths here. And then inhale, center. Exhale to this side, holding this for a couple of breaths. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands come down. So staying um, seated sideways on the chair, we're going to do a lunge pose here. So this is where I'm going to use a block because I have very short legs. I'm going to take my right foot onto the block. I'm going to bring the left leg back. So this is our seated lunge. You'll see that uh, just like in a standing lunge, we want the, sh the front shin bone vertical, knee is in line over the ankle, and the back leg is reaching back, I'm engaging the quadricep muscles, lifting the knee. I'm going to bring my shoulders in line over my hip, ears in line over my shoulders, arms move overhead. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Feeling that stretch of the back, hip flexors. Exhale, release the hands down and coming back to the middle. Go ahead and turn to the other side. Starting with our open arm twist. Both legs are off the side, sitting on the edge of the chair. Inhale, kick the arms overhead. Exhale, reaching to the sides. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep going. Use your breath to guide this motion. Okay, 
inhale, twist, inhale up, exhale, twist, one more time, inhale up, exhale, open, twist, let's hold this for a couple of breath cycles, and inhale here, exhale, stay here. Inhale, keeping that length in the spine. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And back to the center on your exhalation. Inhale, overhead. Exhale to the other side. Stay here for three breath cycles. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, back to the front. Inhale, overhead, one more time. Exhale, hands to the lap, and let's find that lunge on this side. So we're taking uh, the right leg to the front of the chair, and reaching back. That front chin is vertical. Back leg is long and strong. Feeling that hip flexor stretching right here. Turn the shoulders square to the hips. Inhale, float the arms overhead. Hands can be wider than the shoulders. That sometimes frees up the, the upper body so we can lift the heart a bit more. Let's stay here for one more breath cycle. And then exhale, coming back to center. All right, now I'm going to use the blanket. <clears throat> I'm going to use your rolled up blanket, place it on your lap. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this a little better. You can stay right where you are. So this is a modified seated locust pose. So feet are flat on the floor. Blanket is on your lap. So we're gonna lean forward so that the belly is resting on the blanket. And we're gonna relax the head and shoulders down, taking the arms out by your sides, taking the hands, uh, lifting the hands up so the palms face back. I'm gonna draw the shoulders back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, shoulder blades back, head and chest lift, exhale down. So we're keeping the belly down on, on the blanket. And so just lifting the head and shoulders here. Thank you for the vinyasa. Inhaling, keep the, a lot of length in the neck, crown the head, loops forward. Exhale, releasing a bit. Inhale. Feeling the shoulder blades squeezing together. Exhale, release. Now let's do another one. Inhale, hold it here. Let's stay here for three or four breath cycles. So really working at the endurance of our lower trapezius muscles and the muscles, all the muscles along the back of the neck, between the shoulder blades, the back of the arms. One more breath in, exhale, release. And I'm just gonna rest my elbows on my knees and allow my head to drop down, just to release that tension from the upper back. 